Here's the old exhaust manifold, and here's the new Chinese one made by Dorman. So it's made by China, though. I don't know if I'm impressed or not. Doesn't look quite as nice. The welds aren't as nice. It's supposed to be redesigned OEM, but uh, now when you turn it over, oh, when you look in the ports. And then you look at this one, then you turn this one over, you look in the ports, I don't know if you can see it, but the welds are kind of nasty. And I mean, you know, it's just an exhaust pipe, but Christ, I hope it doesn't crack. Hey. Here we go, we got the exhaust manifold that's tightened down to the exhaust. Then I got the number six and the number seven, which are the end bolts and the uh, torque pattern. Okay, I'm getting ready to set on the intake manifold, which I've cleaned the surface up real nice. I cleaned out where the injectors go in. Everything looks nice on the mating surfaces. And my bolts, the eight bolts that go into that will be torqued to 20, 24 foot-pounds and a specific torque. And I'll try to show you the torque out of the, from the book. Because if I try to tell you, you'll just never get it. But uh, anyway, and the last two, the six bolt, the seven and the six on the two ends there, they go to 20 or 17 foot-pounds. All right. Bring you over to the book. See if we can get the pattern. Oh man. Okay. Now, this will be the torque sequence. I hope you can read that. Here's a little better, huh? Okay, everything but the six and seven bolts are 24 and the six and seven bolts will be 17 foot-pounds. There you go. I have the exhaust manifold in and I have the intake manifold in. Everything's torqued. Uh, torquing the bottom bolts on that exhaust manifold, I mean the intake manifold, especially in sequence, was a real pain in the rear. Um, <laughs> but I did it. You know, and we'll see how it works. So I'm just going to finish up now. Put everything back. In the order I took it out. And I kind of screwed up because if I pulled out this fuel line, I should have gotten new uh, O-rings for the injectors. And with that, I think I'm actually just going to maybe do the upgrade. Guessing no injectors. Can't hurt. They've got 240,000 miles on them. And they're pretty easy to get off once you once you know how they come off. And new O-rings, you know, this is 98, 2008, 2018, 20 years old. And she's still ticking. She runs pretty good. I mean, she's spilling a little oil out. I should probably do a valve cover. If I don't have it, I'll just go get it. Maybe I'll do that this weekend. Do the valve cover and the, put new injectors in. I'll make another video for you. But I'm going to put it back just to see how she runs. All right. Take it easy. I'll be. I'll let you know what's going on. Okay. It took me about three hours. And uh, we're going to see if she starts. So I'll be excited. <laughs> Anyway, 
shut my lights off here. Got it back together. This ought to be interesting. the old Jeep. It's the old cruiser man. I hope this goes. It's a lot quieter. And we got the old ABS light on. That's all. But there we go. Look at miles here. 238, 776. She's apparently like a kitten. 